Boom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom, ba your best friend's room, and when it's time to clean her room, switch back. A faster way? Push everything into a big pile, throw a blanket over the top, and tell your mom it's a new beanbag chair. And everyone knows the fastest way, shove everything into your closet. But if you do that, you better stay tuned for Lulu's tips for a quick closet cleaning. The detective is in business. Just 25 cents a case, two cases for, uh, uh, 60 cents. Tubby, I think I need a detective. 25 cents, please. Now, what's your problem? Every time us girls watch a movie during Annie's sleepovers, someone steals our popcorn. Oh, boy! Finally, a real crime! I'll catch the thief for you, Lulu. Hmm, when's the next sleepover? Tonight. But only girls are invited. Iggy even has to go stay at Willie's. No one will even know I'm there. I'll meet you outside Annie's house at 7 o'clock. Gee, thanks, Tubby. If Tubby doesn't show up, I'll ask for my quarterback. <clears throat> Tubby? Oh, my gosh! What are you doing dressed up like a girl? Well, only girls are invited, and I knew I'd make a pretty good girl. I like the name Doreen. So call me Doreen Dainty from Hollywood. If you say so, Tubby. But let's forget the Hollywood business. Hi, Lulu. Who's your friend? This is Doreen Annie, Doreen Dainty. From Hollywood. <laughs> Come on in. We're in the bathroom putting on makeup. Makeup? But what about the movie? What about the popcorn? I guess I forgot to tell you about the makeup part, Doreen. <laughs> Everyone, this is Doreen Dainty. <laughs> From Hollywood? Oh, yes. Our help is definitely needed here. Oh, what do you mean? Uh, I don't need help. <gasps> Wait, I gotta do something with Doreen first. Are you sure about this glue, Lulu? This wig will never come off. Oh. If the girls try to curl your hair, we're done for. Lulu, Doreen, are you in here? I'm just powdering Doreen's nose. Poor Doreen. Come on, girls. Doreen is in trouble. Gee, Lulu, what did you do? Glue this powder on? Don't worry, Doreen. We'll fix you up just right. <laughs> wow, you're brave. You didn't even flinch when I pulled out your hair. Can we please watch the movie now? Okay, but first we have to get in our nightgowns. Doreen forgot to bring a nightgown. Oh, I have one that should fit you. Oh, 
Oh, that's nice of you. Doreen wears her mother's clothes all the time. Don't you have anything with the race cars on it? Now we'll find out who the thief is. Let's get this show on the road. Good popcorn. Could I please have some? Sure. Hey, it's gone. Where? Where? The thief must have come through this open window. And where'd he go? Doreen will catch the thief. She's an even better detective than Tubby. Ouch! Let's watch the movie and stop worrying about the popcorn. We've got a whole box of candy to enjoy. <laughs> Would you like some popcorn? It's very good. Relax, Willie. It's me, Tubby. Huh? No way. Tubby would never wear a pink nightgown. Maybe a yellow one. And that hair. It's a wig, but Lulu glued it on. You're not going to turn us in, are you, Tubby, old buddy? I won't, but you got to do something for me. Climb back down and get the candy. Doreen, can I have some candy? Doreen? <gasps> Where'd she go? <gasps> Do you think... Could she have been <gasps> stolen, too? Something weird is going on. Come on, girls. Let's check out the house. Hurry up, you two. Doreen, <gasps> where are you? <gasps> Our, Our popcorn! popcorn! I, uh, I caught them red-handed, girls. <laughs> what do you mean, caught us? You wanted us to steal the candy, too. Come on, girls. Let's reel them in. <laughs> Doreen is tubby, girls. I asked him to come solve the popcorn case. Ow, 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 I didn't ow. know he'd try to trick us out of all our snacks. What are we gonna do with them? They can watch the movie with us, but first we have to make some adjustments. There! Now all us girls can watch the movie together. See? It ain't so bad, guys. Yeah, at least we get some popcorn. Choosing a baby's name is tough, but not if you follow Lulu's name plan. First, decide what kind of kid you want, then pick the name. You want a tough kid? Name him Spike. A cheerleader? Name her Muffy. And of course, for a smart kid, Lulu. But please, don't name your kids because of what they're like as babies. I mean, who wants to go through life being called stinky? When girls get up in the morning, they have to shower, scrub, brush, floss, and blow dry. And boys, they just throw on some old dirty clothes and they're out the door. Mom says being dirty is in boys' jeans. Well, if you ask me, it's not just in their jeans. <laughs> it's on their shirts, too. show those West Side boys. We'll stomp them into the ground until they're flatter than pancakes. 
Well, go get them. What are you waiting for? Are you kidding? Those guys are huge. Oh, well, look what they did. They ate my lunch. They crushed my the place. I wish they'd let us join their club. Then maybe we could help them get even. I'll ask my brother Iggy. Me and Iggy are just like that. Hey, Iggy, how about if he... Out! Whoa! Ugh. Just for two minutes, I'd like to be as strong as an elephant. Then I'd wreck more than their clubhouse. The other day, when I held my arm a certain way, I think I saw a muscle. Wow, a gym! Let's look around. See? There's the muscle. But it's not very strong. I have to hold it up. I wish I were strong enough to lift this. Oh, Lulu, you're so strong. Oh, oh my gosh. Nothing. Look what Lulu's doing. I oh, don't believe look it. Look at that. It must weigh a ton. It's locked. Maybe there's a back way in. Somebody's coming. <laughs> And up, and up, and... Oh, I'll never get to my workout. Phew. Hey, there's the big dumbbell Lulu was lifting. That's a barbell, you dumbbell. I bet it's not as heavy as it looks. If Lulu can lift it, so can I. <laughs> Hey, this is no place for kids. Scram! Yes, sir! We're going! We're going! <laughs> when did Lulu get so strong? I just wish I could remember how I held my arm that time I saw a muscle. Hmm. Huh? What it did to that tree. Gosh. Wow. Get a load of Lulu. Gee, Willikers. She must have pulled that big tree out of the ground. Without even lifting a finger. I don't believe it. Let's see you pull out that one. Don't be silly, Tubby. That one isn't in our way. What are you doing, Tubby? No girl can be stronger than me. <laughs> Come on, Tubby. Come, Come on, on Tubby. Tubby. You, you can, can do it. it. You, you can, can do it. it. You, you can't can do it. Go. Oh. We need Lulu in our club. Good news, Lulu. We're going to let you two join our club. Oh, goody. At Yay. last, we're in. We've got big plans for you. Follow me, men. Uh, uh, guys. Uh, uh, people. <laughs> to see what's inside. Gosh, it's pretty bare, Tubby. Oh, we'll fill it soon enough once we raid the West Side Boys Clubhouse. Whoops, sorry. She's gonna cream those West Side Boys. And then we should get her on the boxing circuit. There's a strongman competition coming up. And that guy in the gym. Oh, she could teach him some manners. Ooh. Now we've got a big problem. They think I'm really strong. I can't take on all the West Side boys. Look, it's that tornado again. Yeah! Oh, what's going on? Oh, my gosh! Mama! Hey, Lulu, what are you doing? Go for a ride! Put us down! Hey. Oh, yikes! Oh. Next time, we'll really fix Tubby and his fraidy cats. Yeah! Ripped the door right off its hinges. Let's get out of here. We wanted you to beat the West Side Boys, Lulu, but you didn't have to throw us at them. From now on, I vow never to use my great strength again. A word of
give advice to all you parents about bath time. Kids work hard at getting dirty. It's practically a full-time job. So if you want us to wash away all our hard work, you'll have to do better than tossing in a couple of plastic boats and a rubber ducky. Come on, tear out that old bathtub and put in a bath pool. Can't you just see it? Bubble fountains, wave machines, surfing, and dolphins. And you never have to worry about getting us kids into a bath. You have to worry about getting us out. to go skiing for the first time. Oh. Hey, that was easy. But I better be careful not to break anything, like my leg. Hi, Dad. Oh, I can't bear to watch. <laughs> oh, no, no, Luke. That's not how you ski. How do you know? You've never skied before, either. Ah, but I've watched it enough on TV, so I'm gonna go to Sky Top Mountain to practice. Wanna come? Sure, we can learn how to ski together. There's even a big ski competition today. We're not gonna go in it, are we, Tubby? Nah, it's for old people. You have to be over 16. But we can watch and maybe you'll learn something. Gosh, this mountain is really big and steep. You have nothing to worry about, Lulu. I'll protect you. Why, after today, you'll be a champion skier. Look out! <laughs> Good thing this bump was here. Whoa, whoa. Where am I? At the Sky Top Mountain Skiing Contest. But that's on Saturday. This is Saturday. And I've been buried since Tuesday. Ugh. I don't want to learn how to do that, okay, Tubby? Neither do I. Oh. Gosh, I wish I could ski like her. Oops. <gasps> but I don't think I'll ever learn how to do that. That might be the first thing you learn. <gasps> What's that? I'm not sure, but... Whoa! Wow! I skied, and I fell, and I'm alive! But not for long if I fall down this hill. Hey, look! There's the ski contest! He's flying like a bird. He's flapping his arms like one, too. He landed. They're picking him up. They're carrying him away. Birds don't have to be picked up and carried away. Birds don't ski. Oh, gotcha! What are you doing, Lulu? I'm going to practice on a smaller hill. <laughs> I don't think there's such a thing as a smaller hill, Lulu. I'll tell the ambulance to stand by. Smarty. Lulu, what are you doing? Practicing, silly. <gasps> Sorry, uh, I didn't mean to jump the line. <gasps> it's not your turn. And hey, you're just a little girl. Stop. I haven't even learned how to ski yet. Can you want me to stop? seen anything like it. Your friend is a fantastic skier. 
Well, she should be. I taught her everything she knows. She knows how to ski after all. At least I won't see what I hit. I hope those other skiers aren't mad at me for going ahead of them. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Tompkins. Whoop. Wow, I skied. Now how do I stop? Oh, I guess this is how you stop. Happened to the mountain. Hey, little girl, what are you doing in the city dump? Uh, I was skiing at Sky Top Mountain. I think I better call the police. Police? But, but, I didn't mean to go before those other skiers. It was an accident. Hello, I have a little girl here at the city dump. She says she was skiing at Sky Top Mountain and. What's that you say? Okay. The police will be right over to pick you up. Gosh. Imagine putting a little girl in jail for jumping the line and going skiing. I wonder if they put handcuffs on little girls. You can sit in the middle, Lulu. Don't worry, Officer McNabb. I won't try to escape. You know, if I could do it over again, I'd wait my turn before skiing. Honest. Are all those people looking for me? That's right. Boy, I must be in really big trouble. Little girl, it gives me great pleasure to present you with this beautiful silver cup. No one has ever jumped so high and skied so far. Wow! I can't believe you didn't tell me you were a champion skier, Lulu. I guess I am. All I have to do now is learn how to stop. It gets so busy in kids' rooms at night, it's amazing we ever get any sleep. Just think about it. First, there are bed bugs trying to bite you. And the tooth fairy. At least she leaves money for our teeth. Then there's the Sandman sprinkling sand in our eyes. Boy, if he went to my school, he'd be looking at three weeks' detention for that. And the boogeyman, who's there when your eyes are closed, but poof, gone when you open them. How's a kid supposed to sleep playing that game all night long? And even at Christmas, something called sugar plums dance on our heads. <laughs> Parents, forget the nightlight. We need a traffic light. Boom, ba doom, ba doom, dee dee, boom. Oh, Lulu, little Lulu, little Lulu, with freckles on your skin, always in and out of trouble, but mostly always in. Using dad's name tag for the tail of your kite. Using mom's lipstick for the letters you write. Little Lulu, little Lulu, there's no one quite as smart. Doesn't matter what you're doing, you're doing it with your heart. Shiny girls are dancing, there's a sparkle in your eye. When can we look forward to your next surprise? What a surprise! Oh, the clock says 7.30, it's really after 10. Looks like Lulu's been repairing it again. Blow your wild, you know it's true, Lou. And you're very hard to tame. Little Lulu, we love you, Lou, just the same, the same. Little Lulu, we love you, Lou, just the same. Boys are usually too shy to tell girls they like them, which is weird considering all the gross things they aren't too shy to do around us. How to recognize the signs. If a boy looks at you during a test at school, he likes you or he wants some answers. If you ask a boy something and he looks at his shoes, he really likes you or he stepped in something. And if he hangs around you going, he, 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 he likes you a lot or you should get away fast. But if he throws spitballs at you and puts a snake in your lunchbox, he absolutely adores you, and he wants to get married. Or he's your brother. Hey, listen to that. It's coming from the boys' clubhouse. Step right up, folks. See Toby get shot out of a cannon. Only five. 
So I'll even pay 10 cents to see that. Yeah, let's go. Come one, come all! All this is gonna do, Tubby, is give you a splinter. This is a piece of high technology, Lulu. And if it doesn't work, we'll give you your money back. Deal! Fake! Introducing Cannonball Boy! Watch as he climbs into the cannon! <laughs> <laughs> How can they shoot him out if he can't get in? What could be more thrilling than seeing someone get shot out of a cannon? Popcorn! One more crack out of you, Alvin! Ahem! <clears throat> Three, two, one, contact! Wowee! We have liftoff! There he goes, brave cannonball boy! you see anything? No, you just have untrained eyes. He's moving too fast for you to see. Brave old Tubby. He didn't even take a parachute. I didn't see a thing. Fakers! Fake! I bet Tubby never left that barrel. Okay, Tubby Tompkins, come out. I know you're in there. Gosh, he's not in here. Careful, Lulu. We don't want you to get shot into space, too. Hi, folks. Here I am. Boy, I thought I'd never come down. What a show. Even Lulu couldn't believe her eyes. That's because I didn't see anything. Well, let me tell you, it's a good thing I landed on something soft. What? A pile of leaves? In a swimming pool? What? I landed here. We don't believe it. We want to see you do it again. Fake! Anything you want, Lulu. But it'll cost you another nickel. Contact! And there he goes again! <gasps> Where? I didn't see anything that time either. Tubby never left that barrel, and I'm going to prove it. <gasps> oh, I do hope Tubby's all right. Guess I went straight up that time. We can do it again if you want. No way. You're not getting another nickel out of us. Do it again. I still can't figure out how those boys did that trick. <laughs> uh, we're gonna make a fortune with this stunt, fellas. Nobody will ever figure out how we do it. Hey, how's about another round on me? You mean on Lulu, Annie, and Alvin. <laughs> <laughs> so it is a trick. If I'm right, we're gonna find a hole in the ground and a tunnel. Hey, there's no tunnel here. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this mystery if it costs me my last nickel. Cannonball boy shooting across the sky. I still don't see anything. Don't worry, girls. We can do it again as soon as he lands. Tubby's taking an awful long time getting back. Maybe Tubby got stuck in a chimney. Maybe he's suffocating. Maybe Tubby got stuck in the tunnel. Shh. He never got stuck before. That was before he drank three sodas. Where's the trap door? Where's the tunnel? Oh, <laughs> hi, folks. So there is a tunnel after all. Tunnel? What tunnel? There's no tunnel. Tubby's resting. His mother told him never to go flying after a meal. Fake, fake! Whoa! Uh -huh. <laughs> Alvin! Alvin! Whoop! Uh, fellas, we got a problem. Ha! I was right. Thanks, Annie. 
We didn't find the tunnel before because it was hidden by a trap door. And Tubby didn't find it because I moved the cannon. Well, I suppose you want your money back. Oh, no. It was a very good trick. We enjoyed every minute of it. Hey, I want to see you get shot out of the cannon again. It'll only cost you two cents now, Alvin. This is supposed to be a love story. Listen. He had a crush on her. She was swept off her feet. She fell head over heels. But in the end, she had a broken heart. A broken heart? How? Sounds like she should have ended up in the hospital. <laughs> Last week, I could tell my parents were really excited about our trip to the zoo, because they kept saying things like, turkey, nice jaguar, what a weasel. Bunch of cows. And it's a jungle out there. Well, we never did make it to the zoo after all. Dad said there were too many animals on the road. Doobie, doobie, doo. Doo -doo. Mother's birthday? But father, the nose is all busted off. Broken centuries ago. Such history. Looks to me like you walked into a door. Antiques look better when they're broken, son. It means they're old. And your mother will love it even more when she sees the price tag. Wow. <gasps> Lulu and Annie. Oops. Shooting arrows through our windows. Why, they could have broken something. Like an antique nose. <laughs> I guess we'll have to ask Wilbur for our arrow back. I've found your arrow, Lulu. Come in. Gee, this is really nice of you, Wilbur. And I thought you'd be mad. Lulu, that looks a lot like your dad. If his nose fell off... That's what happened. Your arrow wrecked Father's precious statue. Oh, Wilbur, I'm sorry. But where's... the... the... nose? And look how much Father paid for it. G golly! Six dollars! It's more than six dollars. Look at all those zeros. Everybody knows zeros mean nothing. Okay, six dollars it is. But you better pay up or Father will be really mad. Where am I gonna get six dollars? Well, I've got most of the nose here. Maybe we could glue it back on. Or we could make a new nose. Oh, I can't make noses. We need a model. Hey, that statue did look an awful lot like my dad. So we'll use him for a model. Uh -huh. What a strange dream. Martians were trying to steal my nose. Perfect. Let's get out of here before... Thought you could trick me, huh? Oops. My father's birthday present for my mother. And she just pulled up outside. Quick, blew it, blew it together. I can't wait to see it, dear. Uh, mother, um, 
Happy birthday! Why, thank you, sweetums. We're about to unveil your mother's present right now! Father showed me your present this morning. He's really outdone himself this time. Whoop! Ooh, let me see. Let me see. Ta da! Easy, Father. Oh, I just love it. Finally, a piece of modern sculpture in this house. I was so worried you were going to get me another broken antique. Well, I'm glad you like it, dear. Like it? I love it. I'm going to invite my RLACC friends over right now to have a look. Ah, uh, the Rich Ladies Auxiliary Collectors Club. <laughs> Won't they be envious? Hard to tell whether she was laughing or screaming. With what we did to that statue, probably both. Come on, Annie. We gotta put that statue back together right. But we came as soon as we heard, darling. My Harold won't buy anything under 500 years old. Dear, could you prepare the unveiling? Oh, what have you done? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Van Snob. I just couldn't leave it like it was. And I'll get you the six dollars, I promise. Hurry! Uh, do it like it was before. All sticking out and, and with that funny nose. Hey, that's my dad's nose. Wilbur, stall your mother. Uh, ladies, are you sure you're ready for a truly modern, artistic experience? Of course we are, dear. Uh, oh, but not everybody can handle art that is so modern. Well, oh, oh, it's the most oh, exciting thing I've seen. Where is it? Oh, isn't it oh, it's it's so awesome. Awesome. Do it here. Oh, oh, it's so oh, wonderful. wonderful. Oh, it's so wonderful. <laughs> Here, girls, a little something to keep quiet. Or uh, rather, for your great sculpture. Uh, Six bucks for breaking an old statue and gluing it together all crazy. That wasn't crazy, Annie. That was art. It's grown-ups who are crazy. Ever wonder what grown-ups really mean when they talk? Well, wonder no more. It's all in the grown up ease dictionary. Ah, here's a good one. Oh, no, I couldn't possibly eat another bite means, please keep filling my plate. And this one, I really must start exercising again, which means, there, I said it, now I don't have to do it. Oh, and this one's really sneaky. That's enough, you've had quite enough dessert. That really means, hee-hee-hee, he, he, go to bed. The rest is mine. My hair. Gee, Dad, who are all those good-looking fellows with Mom? Lulu, those good-looking fellows are me. But you don't have hair, Dad. Did you think I was born bald, Lulu? Isn't everyone? <sighs> I used to have a lot of hair, but I lost it all about the same time you were born. <sighs> what I wouldn't give to have hair again. Trying out my new chemistry set. I'm making, um, well, I don't know what I'm making yet. Whoa! Pretty neat, Tubby. 
But do you think we can invent something that could grow hair on my father's head? I bet we could. Let's check out the fridge for ingredients. We definitely need some eggs because they're good for your hair. And flowers will help because all good shampoos smell like flowers. And broccoli. Because if we don't use it now, I'm going to have to eat it for dinner. Shoo, kitty. Ugh. We're in business. Let's surprise him. Boy, will my dad be surprised when he wakes up and finds... His head's turned blue. Your dad's head turned blue. Lulu, what did you do? I didn't do anything, Tubby. You put it on his head. Oh, we gotta get it off. <laughs> What's going on? <gasps> George! What? What is it? Your head! It's blue! My head. It is blue. It's blue. Lulu Moppet and Tubby Tompkins. Oh. What is going on here? Huh? Uh, uh, Mr. Moppet's head is blue? Oops. I can see that. Now, what are you two trying to hide? Let's see your hands. I guess you could say you caught us blue-handed. <laughs> if I can't wash it off, I'll have to cover it. Bring all of it upstairs, Tubby. Uh, okay, Mom! Now down the drain it goes. Oh, oops! Oh. Sorry, kitty. Boy, I don't see why everyone's so upset. At least Dad didn't turn green. Tubby? Hair. I'm not bald. I have hair. Tubby, Lulu, your hair tonic works. It actually works. Hair? How do we get some of that hair? Well, we have to make some more hair tonic first. Then let's get over to Tubby's house so you can whip up a new batch. This is great. We'll give you a lift. Two drops. Uh, one drop. We gotta get it right, Tubby. Ow! Careful of my hair, Lulu. Sorry, Tubby. Hey, does it seem like our hair is still growing? Oh, you poor kitty. Boy, I wonder if we'll win one of those noble prizes for this. Or even better, a new bike! Lulu, Tubby, come up here! My hair won't stop growing. Forget the tonic, work on an antidote. I don't want that much hair. Let's get out of here. What we make has to do the opposite of what the tonic's already done. So instead of growing hair, it has to get rid of it, right? Then all we have to do is put in the opposite of what we put in before. Okay, uh, what's the opposite of eggs? A plucked chicken. And the opposite of sweet-smelling flowers? Is stinky extra old cheese. Now the opposite of yesterday's broccoli is... Today's broccoli. This is it. <gasps> there. Now to test it. We've done it, Dad. Hold on. Yahoo! I'm bald. Bald as an egg. Bald as a melon. Bald as a cue ball. I'm back to normal. Thank you, Lulu. Thank you, Tubby. Gee, Dad, you look better without hair anyways. Come back here, kitty! <laughs> Being bald isn't so bad. But if there was only a way, I could lose some of this weight. Hmm. One time at a fancy restaurant, I got this really bad waiter. He asked if I'd like the chef's salad. 
Why would I want to share someone's salad, I asked. Don't you have any brains? And you know what? They did. Boiled or stewed. Then I noticed that I had three forks. Well, I didn't want the waiter to make me share anything, so I swapped them all for dessert spoons and ordered a huge chocolate mousse so I could eat the body and save the antlers for the morning. Sort of like an Easter bunny. But what about your main course, the waiter asked me. When I told him I was best in math, he walked away. And he calls himself a waiter. He never even waited for me to finish my order. <laughs> Thank you.